man. What's good? This be the coolest of the cool. What up, Joe? Yes, sir. What's going on? I got. I got. I got to switch up the first, man. Hold on, wait, hold on. Before you, talk about no, before, let me say this. How you like our call in? Oh, I'm loving it, man. It's like nice, good energy, good vibes. I'm fucking. With That's dope. What the hell you got to say, man? What the fuck you want? Hey, I'm cool <laughs> if I ain't there, bro. You own the house. You own, you done lost, cool. the Joe, you done lost so many games since then, man. You don't own I shit don't, over here, I man. Three games. You can't even rent the table. Whatever, man. I'm still at 100, bro. How may we help you today, sir? <laughs> <laughs> How may we help What's you today? What's going on, man? What's going on? How you feeling? Yeah, I was trying to call in early, man, when y'all were talking about the uh, Bob's message, which I definitely wanted to expand on that. Go you know, ahead. Go ahead. ahead. This your chance. Huh? Go ahead, this is your chance. Oh, okay, I just want to say, man, what I thought there was just like outright bogus. Like he thought what he was saying was gonna stay behind closed doors. And that's how I really feel about them players, man. They don't look at them as, you know, players on the field trying to make their team better like that. They, they look at them as an inmate or property. Like that, it's gonna take too much time on I just want to say that. I mean, I mean, talk. I, I, I mean, hey. Huh? It's cool. The mics is open. Just talk, man. Do your thing. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I said a lot of them owners feel like that. It ain't just him, he just, he just caught. You know what I'm saying? He's behind closed doors with his, with his little white league on his, his white friends. They probably talk like that all the time. Well, you know what I'm saying? And not expecting nobody else to know. And what happened with him, his shit just got out. His shit hit the fan. But I'm quite sure a couple of his friends who the owners, they had them same conversations privately and tell them what they behind closed doors. You know, and so I just think what, what needs to happen a uh, not gonna work none of that shit means nothing I don't know what the Texas players gonna do about it as, as a black man how can you work for a man that say something like this but you also gotta provide for your family so say you know, cool say cool yo so you yeah, you, you you as a player knowing what this owner then said and everything else right so uh, you mean to tell me you wouldn't have took the field that, 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 that's where it gets tricky here, bro, because these, you gotta think about it, these players still gotta feed their family. Ain't no contracts guaranteed in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's your bread and water right here. So what, what, as, as a black man, what do you do? You, you put these players in, in a tough position because, you know, these, they also want to stand up for what they believe in. And so I, I think that's a real tricky situation. I wouldn't call them coons. I wouldn't talk bad about them because I know they got family to feed, they got life to live with them. You know, I, I, I it, 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 it's real tough. I'm just gonna say that. It, 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 I, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying, you, you as an individual, you as a person, if you play for the Texas right now, you know your, the, your your owner team, the one who signed your checks, Bob McNair, said that, hey, these inmates, you can inmates run the motherfucking prison or whatever the fuck he said or whatever. I, I don't care right. to know what to even quote right. exactly, but you. As a player, let's me, say as, as a running as a back player, or whatever, no. would you not, ha- would, would you have the took the stick? Would you still have took the field? No, absolutely. I wouldn't either. Fuck I that would, paycheck. I, would I have wouldn't have. either. But but a, a lot of think about this though. A lot of these you guys, these rookies out here who just take dream. And like I say, it's a it's a really fucked up situation, man. These I know that's that, that's players, the catch twenty two of the whole situation, though. Mm-hmm. You think no other team will take these players, though, man? Especially Deshaun Watson. Yeah, they would. You think Cleveland they, Browns they wouldn't take him? They would, but it, it's they still contacts involved, though. That, that, that's true, because I was going to ask you about dog. the whole thing with, like, the like Clippers had the thing and how they got down with Sterling out of ownership and had somebody else, you know, take over ownership. But the NFL is tough right. to do that with. Hey, but, hey, so you need to think of man. If, if, a, if a player lead a team, you got to think about it. A lot of these league owners are friends. They will blackball that motherfucker. Yeah, Look at most Colin definitely. Kaepernick. They will blackball just walking off the team and then walking into nowhere is, is, is like, is, is, is not smart to me. Yeah, so but... You, you can lead a team, but then his friend not going to put you on his team. Why not? You know what I'm Because that, that's how they roll, man. No, they not roll, necessarily, they, man. They, 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 uh, if they, a motherfucking a team get him a, a player that's a bona fide stud, man, that can get them DeAndre better Hopkins. than what they are. Look, I mean, look at Cleveland, man. You think he couldn't go to Miami and start for them? 
Man, it, it depends, man. It depends on the black baller or, or the white baller in the situation. It, it depends because if, if, if them league owners is friends, he's not gonna pick. He's not gonna pick somebody up who just left his friend team. They gonna stick together because they 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 feel that they feel like they it is it, like it is an organization with inside of an organization, man. But, but look at this perspective right. too, man. Now we didn't talk about this domestic violence shit and how they put pressure on the NFL. To not let another uh, player like Ray Rice play, you think it could be any organization out there put pressure on the NFL and put it out there in the media, in the world, and show them, hey, he just said some racist uh, comments, and why would you fault him for walking off if he doesn't want to play for him? And then they get on the spotlight, they get that pressure from there. Hey, it's got to be teams. Hey, okay, we'll take them. You know what I'm saying? We'll. Uh, I know everybody wants to talk about Kaepernick and what he did, and that he's not a team. But when you got somebody who blatantly said a racist statement or a close to a racist statement, and that player doesn't want to play for that, then you got people like, yeah, we 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 buy behind you one hundred percent. You right? No, you you absolutely right. But I think it depends on the situation. I think it depends because because like say say if, if he best friends with the Miami Dolphins owner, he's not gonna pick up the field from the Texans. You see what I'm saying? They keep they they, 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 they keep they, they keep their money circulating in in between each other, and they keep players circulating between yeah. each other. But you don't think yeah. that only said, "Hey, man, even though I don't like these niggas or something like that," you shouldn't have said that in the public, man. Like that makes I'm, us look I'm, bad. I'm, I'm, anyway. I'm, I'm quite sure he probably somebody probably did say that to him, but that's not gonna break that bond and that friendship. That's not gonna break their business. That's not gonna break that at it's all. all that dollar, man. So you don't it's think that no that player would get picked up by yeah. another squad? If if it came down to it, no. How not? I mean, like I said, Kaepernick, I understand because he was the the steer, spearhead. If, listen, but me if a, you got me, me, me as a player, me as a player situation, I'm not playing. Right. I don't give a fuck if I do get blackballed. But I'm saying, but that's a different mentality. Just like Donald Sterling says something about his players or about black people in the NBA. And everybody was sympathetic to y'all because he's some racist. But what did Chris Paul and them still do? They, they played. Why? Hey, I got to ask Chris Paul that. But what happened, hippie? They why? Because they played because of that dollar. Stern got put out of there, though, right? It, 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 it doesn't matter. Yeah, he did. Stern got put out of there, though. It, but it, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you still played and made. You took his ownership this, away from him. But He didn't believe that was going to happen. But at the same time, you still played and made him some money. And now he's no. not making any money off the end of the how, how do you know that? Because his wife still has part of control of that, right? Man, he, he ain't getting no money like that. Well, you never know. Same cook. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? You still there? Yeah, I'm still there. I'm still rolling. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, we're going to take a break, man. We're going to come back and we're going to talk some more. you going to stay on the line? Yeah, I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. Ah, okay. Hold on here. We're going to mute you for a little bit and then we're going to come back. All right? We can bring you A Game Sports Talk Radio right here on Black Hippie Radio Entertainment. Had the homie St. Cool. He called in talking on the mic and shit. Had T. Had the homie Herb talking to him. So, what you think? Oh, most definitely, man. But like I say, man, uh, when we come back, you know, I still got more to say about. How you figured that? Oh, that player would not be picked up by another squad. I don't believe that. I, from it's, the con, from the context, the way from the way he put it, I'm just going off the way the conversation was going. No, I understand where y'all coming from. And and and, and if it go, if it comes to it, no, that that player might not be picked up if they go ahead and behind closed doors and talk about shit that we don't know about that the cameras ain't around, that the phones and the microphones ain't around. You never know about those conversations. The public's though, man. watching, man. Hey, he didn't want to play because he been called an inmate listen or here, something like this. Listen here, they got records they can pull up. Oh, he got all type of these injuries. They can come up with all type and say I don't know. Draft him because he I don't, I'm not drafting, but I don't want to pick him up because he had a, a minor fracture injury, and it might be you know I don't want to step much. If anything, him to play for another team, he's going to have to play for a cheaper buck. So yeah, he might get picked up, but he's not going to get the money that he's fucking worth. I do. Di- I disagree with that, man. Hey, I'm t- no get to some more music, man. Right, keep everybody on the time. Just bring a game sports talk radio. You can call in seven zero eight three two eight eighty nine twenty three. 
the podcast. It'll be up on the later on today. Plus, you can check out the YouTube channel, Black Hippie Radio Entertainment. They are all the way. Got the homie St. Cool on the line. Giving y'all some little brother. We'll be back with y'all in a minute. I'm going to get it started up one more time. I got the number down right here. I'm looking at it. I couldn't believe she would do me like that, B. I just don't understand it, dog. I can't understand it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome y'all back to the Mental Show. Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all can be watching a lot of other states. Y'all touring us right now. And it feels so beautiful. Performing in blackface tonight. It's my new group. Joe Scudder. He coming up a little bit later on in the show. I just want to thank y'all for just tuning in. It's like this, y'all. Yo. When Tay pull his verses out. Promoters pull their purses out that money for a purchase out that charge card that they swipe for the worst amounts. Cause this is business, not personnel. Thought that I would switch my personnel like Big Doe and Big Two would be the first to bounce. But y'all, if this boring me, I'm never gonna change up. Please join a sorority, go step your game up. Y'all boys ain't ready for damage. You need extra planning, you in the game, but you offsides and got an extra man. And I'm the coach doing your reprimand. And I got a team to run for, respect my standards. Uh, and when I'm on the mic, y'all should expect the grandest Show of lyricism, ever let them know who your man is Check it, check it, check it, So you got a Little brother uh, And all across the world, the fly ladies and girls tell me they loving it East Coast say they loving it Midwest say they loving it Old world say they loving it It's not a big uh, I got a pride with you, speaking gossip, talk about what you know, nothing in this nonsense, that's a Bronson, Charlie take precaution, get you sold on the block, no, not an auction, Dilly departing, I'm not a G, but I move like they move with a hand full of smarts, man, hit these niggas go rambling, cause they don't know about the business we be handling, but let them know, constant hits keep them scrambling, to the stores, to the shelves, dismantling, and, and what's that joint nice sampling, Who and take you on the mic, them bounce, it's them Hey, your women, we attracting them And if you ever wanna know what's happening We tell them, oh It sounds so good It's so hood From state to state, the boys making the pace And yeah, we loving it West Coast say they loving it The East Coast say they loving it Southwest said they loving it. It's your scudder. Yo, I wake uh. up every morning holding my dick, going through life like I know I'm a sh. Y'all ain't fucking with me, so why try? Why go that route? Why take that street? You can't take that heat, man. Your whole flow weak. We will take that beat, put our own words on it. We will make that speak to the crowds and the masses. And all I ask is, don't settle for the average. Rap cabbage heads. Yeah, you heard what I said. We the best here, cause our worst days. Be better than your best years We your worst fears So get up, get out, get something, man It's only getting worse here Joe Scudder, little brother, man, we family And yo, we here forever, so understand me, it's real uh-huh. Check the realness If you can feel this Doing shows and videos Collecting residuals, we loving it uh-huh. Nice one to say he loving it Big Pooh say he loving it The J League say they loving it Everybody say they loving it Black Hippie Radio Entertainment Right here, bring your A-game sports talk radio. Me and the homie Smokey D, we sitting back chilling. Down here in the player cave. Vacation. Having a little fun, you know. Oh, damn, it look like we didn't lost, we didn't like we didn't lost St. Cool. We're going to get him back on the air, though. We look like we're going to get him back on the air. There you go. St. Cool. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay. We're going to mute you for a minute. Hold on. Uh. We we down here we down here chilling in the player cave you know, just sit back talking Chicago sports and more. Uh, we was talking about the whole what well, the main subject been lately is you know the whole Texas um the Texas Houston Texas Houston owner I I, I, I keep wanting to fucking call him the Houston Oilers man 
Cause we we're, we're used to that You know what I'm saying But the Texans that, that's, that's what keep That's what the fuck I keep wanting to say The Houston Oilers man That's why I keep stumbling Joe And we gotta go and research And why they didn't call it Man Oilers, You know what I'm saying